guys, welcome back. Kyle Dimmon here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're going to do a walk around of a, Min a Winnebago Mini, a 2801 VHS. We'll get you around outside, we'll get you inside, let's see what you think. Alright, this is a great bunkhouse unit for the family. A lot of stuff going on in here, a ton of storage. We'll get you started up here with a nice front cap, fiberglass front cap. Below that you got your rock guard, keep it protected here. Also up front, you're going to have the uh, battery we're going to throw in and the battery box is going to live right there. You're going to fill the propane tanks up front. You got a power tongue jack, really nice convenient there. You do have these slam latch baggage doors. And if you see, you poke in here, you do have heat in here, so anything you store in here is going to be keep nice and warm. Also with these baggage doors, they're going to be insulated to keep that warm. You can be right under your bed, so that's what you're going to want. Also in here, your battery disconnect. You can see the aluminum framing up top. A um, couple of push puck lights in here, so you can get your gear. Really nice feature. Electric stabilizer jacks. Push the button, those drop down for you. Walk around the one big slide on here. You're gonna have a dinette and then a couch on this slide. Really opens it up. On the back side. For the camper, we got our outdoor shower, hot and cold water, and this is where your rear stabilizers are. You got satellite hookup, park cable, uh, and then your your power connection back here. It's on a 30 amp service. Around the back side of the camper, you're going to see it comes with a spare tire, a full spare tire here. This is a back door that goes to the bunks. So if you want to store some stuff back here, this bunk does flip up. So you can flip this up, lock it in place, you know, if you got bikes, extra totes, kids stuff, you can put them all in there, keep them all out of the elements. This is prep for a backup camera as well. And then you also have a bar back here, you can hook up a, a hitch to it too. And put, you know, put a rack back here for, you know, more bikes, or you can put a rack back here, put a generator on, a couple coolers, really nice feature right there. You do have a spray port out back as well. This is just going to be like a hose shower, nice cold water. If you got the dogs or the kids, spray them off before they're heading inside. You have a ladder to the roof. Walk up there, check your seals. Ladder is in backer, so it's really convenient. You can shake this whole camper out of the ladder. Feel really comfortable getting on that. Really sturdy. And it does wrap around the top, pulls you right up there. We got an outdoor kitchen on this unit as well. You got a nice little fridge. You can pull out, you got a two burner cooktop here. It's really nice. Then a little workstation up here as well with a light and a little sink. And we'll get you down here. By your jacks, you do have another port. This is going to be for uh, propane. So if you do want to bring another little gas grill or something, a little bigger grill than that, you hook up that, run out the propane tanks up front. You can also see you have some power in here. So if you want to throw a toaster, a little waffle maker, anything, have this be your little breakfast nook. Great idea for that. You got the solid steps come all the way to the ground. So like I said, with the bunkhouse and a little bigger trailer, you are going to have a crew. So if the kids are running up and in there, the dogs are running up in there, it's not going to shake the whole trailer and bounce it around. So that, you know, if anybody wants to get the extra couple Z's of shut eye, you're not going to be waking them all up. I don't know if you can see it out here in the sun, but this is all underlit with LED strip under the nice big awning. Awning runs pretty much the whole length of the camper, which is really nice. Got about a 20 foot awning on this. You know, it's over the camp kitchen, over the front door. You know, got outdoor speakers out here. Just a lot of great features. The Winnebago's doing. You got the dual axle filled with nitrogen on the tires. Also up front, you do have a power port and cable. Little connections here. You got your wa hot water heater section here, and then on the other side, this is the other side of the slam latch baggage doors of the apartment area. You can kind of see how thick those are, really insulated. You just drop them down, they shut for you, they're held up by magnets, no more breaking any clips. Really nice features. Winnebago is just putting on a really nice camper so you can enjoy it for years to come. It's going to last a long time. Front door is also on a friction hinge. 
so if you can see that you know if it catches in the wind it won't slam you know no more of those clips holding it open just kind of leave it where it is it does have a screen door to allow that air in nice big grab handle as you come in also right when you come in really convenient you got your whole call it the motherboard you can check your tanks your slides here your awnings are here your lights your water heater everything all in one really convenient location and then on the other side you have this huge pantry let's throw a light on in here let's see well here we go turn the light on in there huge pantry for storage it's awesome and again that's right when you walk in you can kick your shoes in there you can keep your sweaters in there anything you'd like get your entertainment with a lot of storage above it and below you keep a lot of stuff in here in these drawers you got power you do have a quick connect for your phone wireless phone charger just pop your phone on that charge it up also in the back of the camper here is your bunk beds you got your upper and lower bunk bed they got usb and lights on both you got windows on both you got that back door so really nice features there bathroom is really big right in the back of the camper so even with the slide in you can still access the bathroom the bunks the refrigerator you can get to pretty much anything in this camper when that slides in so if you are going down the road keep that in mind nice big shower with a skylight to give you a lot of light back here and you also have a fan in the bathroom as well so for the taller folks you can fit in here you get your fan a little corner medicine cabinet stainless steel sink just some awesome features in the bathroom even come around in the living space get this couch that will fold down into a bed so you can sleep a couple more people on that one the dinette will also drop down into a bed so like i said if you have you know the kids they bring friends you can kind of just sleep them all the dinette kind of drop you down here you can see there's no more pedestal post down there that you're popping out the bed just has this unique feature where you just push it down and it just drops into place and gives you the bed and just pop it up when you're ready it's no more having to store the posts throw those under there take them apart drop the bed it's just all together storage doors under the dinette and then the kitchen as well a lot of storage in here you got your big storage drawers under the fridge you got your fuse box down here now what Winnebago has been doing is they take the stove out, they give you a convection microwave. So anything you can do in the stove, you can now do in your microwave. And they give you another big drawer instead for storage. Not many people are using those little ovens anyway. You're doing most of your cooking outdoors. So they said, hey, let's take that away. We'll give you another big storage door to give you more space there. And give you a convection microwave so you can do everything that you would in the oven in the microwave. Big countertop pull down faucet you got the one big stainless steel basin farm style sink big storage under a lot of storage above as well bring you back into the bedroom you know, talking about storage and nooks and crannies of what Winnebago's doing. You got the hers and hers wardrobe storage. And if you can see, we'll pop some of these lights on back here. You can see in the back, you got a couple of nooks and crannies. So if you have a CPAP machine or you know, a lot of the different devices you want to plug in or hook up, you got space in the corners on both sides. You have the appropriate plugins here. Nice space. You got the pocket sliding door to close it off. You got a fan back here, opposing windows to open those up, bring that breeze in, fan on the roof. And then you got more storage under the bed here. You pop that up and you got more storage under the bed. So just a great camper. I'm kind of bring it around into the living space one more time and show you 
And this is back from the bedroom to show you how big and open it is with that one big slide. A lot of awesome windows. Really opens it all up. This does have solar on board, so you're gonna keep those batteries charging when it's nice and sunny like today. Really big refrigerator on 12 volt. Just awesome. All right, so there you have it. My name is Kyle Damon. I'm here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. If you have any questions about this Winnebago or anything else that we have on the lot right now, give me a call fast. Things are moving quick. Camping season started. We'll see you soon.